Welcome to a Key Smash Studios tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to access properties within a C++ class from Blueprints. I'm going to create two different properties within our C++ class, one that will be a read-only property and one that will be a read-write property. This will allow us to get that value and display it on the screen for that first property, and then we'll also be able to get that value of the second property, edit it, and then also print it to the screen. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So in this video, I'm going with the assumption that you already have a project in the works and that you're trying to figure out how to get your C++ class that you've already created communicating with your Blueprint class that you've also already created. So I have both a basic C++ actor and I'm going to be using Unreal's third person character controller Blueprint. So if you don't already have your C++ class, you can just simply right click inside of your content browser and create a new C++ class. But again, I already have mine. I've just named it my actor and I've already given it a mesh so that we will be able to see it in the scene. Again, because I'm going with the assumption that you already have an actor and you're just wanting to be able to communicate with a blueprint class you already have created. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my header of my actor and I'm going to create those two properties I mentioned at the beginning. So it's going to be a U property and it's going to be for this one visible anywhere. And this is going to be our blueprint read only and so as you're just going to type blueprint read only and this blueprint read only value is a property specifier. If you type in Unreal property specifiers, you can see all the different types that you're able to put here. I'm just going to be using two. This first one is blueprint read only, which means that the blueprint is able to access a get of this value, but is not able to set this value. I'm just going to have as an integer and we're gonna call it lookup num. And then for our other U property, we're going to have that one be edit anywhere. And the property specifier for this one is going to be blueprint read write. And then for this one, we're going to make it an int again, and we're going to call this one edit num, as we'll be taking this number, adding a value to it in our blueprint, and then printing it to the screen. So that way you can see how you can edit a C++ value inside of a blueprint. And this is all we'll be doing to the header, so we can go ahead and save and go over to our CPP. And we're just going to give default values to those two properties inside of our constructor. So we're going to do lookup num, and I'm just going to give it a value of 5. And then for edit num, we're going to give it a value of 0. And that's all I'm going to be doing inside my actor class. I have two different properties that I want to be able to access within my blueprint class and then edit there as well. So now we can go ahead and go over to our blueprint class where we're wanting to access these values. In my case, I'm going to use the third person character that Unreal has created for their third person starting content. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. And then I'm going to do this inside of my event graph on my event begin play. But this could be inside a function if you already have a function created where you're trying to access these values or anything like that. And so in order to be able to access these values from my actor class, I need to get all of the actors of that specific class type in the scene. So I'm going to do get all actors of class and then my class is that my actor class. And then I want from here to go into a for loop. And I'm going to take the out actors and input it into my for loop. So this is saying every single my actor in my scene, go ahead and send it to this for loop. And then inside this for loop, what we're going to do is get both of those properties that we've just created. The first one, we're just going to print to our screen. The next one, we're going to add a value to it and then print it to the screen as well. So in order to just make this more clean, I'm going to add a sequence. And the first one, I'm going to go ahead and do a print string. 
and the string we're wanting to print is going to be an array element. So we're pulling out that array element zero, the first my actor inside the get all actors of class array. And then from here, we want to get that lookup num value, except we actually have to compile first, so that way we can see it. So I'm just going to go ahead and compile. And now that the compile is complete, we'll go ahead and go back to our blueprint. And now if we pull out from that array element, we should be able to type in lookup num, and we can get its value. And then we're going to go ahead and put its value inside of that string value, so that way it outputs the lookup num. And we're just going to move the sequence up. just so it looks nicer. And then we're gonna pull this down and we're gonna do another print. And then for this print, we need an array element, but this one we want to be the edit num and we're going to get the edit num. So I can show you that we can in fact read the read and write ones as well. And then from here, we're going to add an int to an int. And I'm just gonna add the array index so that way you can see it iterating through these classes. So if you remember, we had edit num as zero. So that first element will have an index of zero. And so when we add that array index of zero to our edited num, which is zero, that first value will in fact still be zero. And then if we have the next array element, that array index will become one. And so we'll add the one to the zero of edit num, and then the value will be one. And now what we wanna do from here is actually set our edit num, which we need to actually pull out of the array element as well. So set edit num, and then we're gonna pass in the returned value of those two added values. And then we're gonna take this one of sequence, put it into set. After the set, we're gonna print that new value of edit num. So now I'm just gonna arrange things so it's slightly nicer. So again, all we're doing here is getting all the actors of this class, iterating through them in a loop, printing out their lookup num value, and then taking their edit num value, adding to it the arrays index, setting that, and then printing it out. So that's everything we're gonna do in the blueprint. So we can go ahead and compile and save. And then we're gonna go back to the scene and I'm gonna start by adding just one of my actors. So we'll drag this into the scene and give its mesh just a cube shape. And then if I click play, you can see I have a five and a zero the five printed first, which was that lookup num, and then the zero printed after, which was that edited num with a value of zero, added to it its an array index, which is also zero. And so the resulted new value of the edited num is still zero. So now if I go back to the scene and add in another actor, and we'll just give this one a sphere shape, and then I click play again, and we'll just pause. You can see that it was five zero and then five one. So the five zero was the first element's lookup num and then the zero was its edited num. And then the five of the lookup num for the next element is still the same as we can't change that, it's read only. And then the edited num for that one was one as the index of that object was one. So now I'll just add another one and I'm gonna go back to the blueprint and just make the timer longer so that way you can see it better. So we'll just make this one a floor. And then I'm going to go back and we're just gonna give this a duration of 15 instead of two. and compile and save, and then we'll click play. And again, you can see five, zero, five, one, five, two. So those are our three objects printing out their properties. The first one being the lookup num, the second one being essentially their index through that edited num. 
So as a recap, we created properties in our C++ class that we could access from our blueprints, and we did this through the use of two different property specifiers, the blueprint read-only and the blueprint read-write. Again, if you want to look at other property specifiers, you can just simply Google Unreal Property Specifiers, click on that first link, and it'll have a bunch of different ones and what each of them allow you to do. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join our Discord and ask them there. We make videos here every Wednesday and Saturday, but we also stream games on Twitch Tuesday and Wednesday. We have a game on the Google Play Store called Blast Off, and we have an asset pack of kids' toys on the Unity Store. We also have a Patreon, and if any of those things interest you or you'd like to support us in any of those ways, I will provide all the links in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.